Okay, Taurus, you had a some big information, some big cards I remember that came through from you in the June readings. And so you're going to have two new beginnings and an ending. And your first beginning happens at the butt end of June. And that happens in the way that you communicate, in the way that you talk and relate. And this is kind of connected with family and your emotions, mothering type of energy. Okay, so you could be talking to mom more or some some sort of a communication about mom or family members could even be siblings, co-workers, neighbors, you know, people who you would consider your peers. But there's a vibe to it where there's some nurturing going on. It's got like this cancer, this empathy and this understanding, this empathic energy to it, possibly being emotional about these communications, communications that you're having with whether it's coworkers or neighbors or siblings. And if you're on social media, if you're on the internet, you know, if you have digital neighbors, there may be conversations about mom. The public in general can be part of this, the feelings of the public. So this is a, a new beginning, Taurus. Now you're going to get to the middle of the month of July and there's an ending, an, an ending. And the ending has to do with your goals and your ambitions about work, you know, your responsibilities but it's tied to your beliefs about work. What you believed work was or what you had to do for work. It's this Capricorn energy. So it's going to be very material, right? And so Tauruses might have always been those very physical people because you've got Capricorn in this location, which is tangible. It's material. It's like hands-on stuff, right? But this is higher learning and education too. This is going to school, taking extended education. This is also spirituality, religion, philosophy on life. This is higher learning and law, the judicial system type of law. Possibly you're changing your beliefs about what you can do for work. Possibly you're changing your beliefs about a religion or your spirituality. Because this is a let go. It's like a full moon energy. It's a release and it's a let go. It's also that location of like foreign lands, foreign languages. It's traveling long distances, possibly letting go some thoughts and some beliefs about where you wanted to travel to or how you wanted to travel. Typically, this was like that get in the airplane type of stuff, but you might be releasing because it's a, it's a time to release, time to let go. It's time to say, you know, I don't believe that any longer. That's no longer for me. And then when we get further into the month, there's a new beginning coming. Is at home. It's literally at home, being creative in the home. It involves Leo energy, maybe getting out the paintbrushes, maybe building, maybe gardening, colors. But Leo is also the performer. And it's all about me, me, me. That's Leo energy. It's how can I creatively express? How do I creatively stand out? Now, remember, this is children energy. So you might find yourself possibly considering doing stuff you used to do as a kid that made you feel good in the home. Your happy place is in your home. I don't have to tell you that, right? You know that. But what is it that you do to make it happy? So there's going to be something you're doing where you're going to be incorporating that. You're going to be beginning some sort of a new fun thing. Now, this Leo energy is also the romance and the mating and the relating and the dating type of stuff, right? So it's it can be a little bit of that too. So if you're married or if you've got a partner or you know, even if you don't have a partner but you have someone you like to have a good time with, there could be some of that starting up. Let's have a good time with our bodies type of vibe. Or you could take that physical activity a different route. You could just start working out in the home. Leo energy is very athletic. It likes to be doing things. It's courageous. It like has no fear. It's this big heart energy. That's Leo, big heart energy. So it can be very giving, very giving. But it has to be careful to, to remember there's others, that it's not the only one, right? Because Leo is I will. It just has to remember to include the group. So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.